back guys uh, to another video and uh, few days back uh, oneplus has released an uh, hydrogen os within beta version which includes the latest version of their launcher that was 2.21 and today uh, oneplus has again released an update for their uh, oxygen os that is open beta 19 for oneplus 3 and open beta 10 for oneplus 3t so right now i'm having my oneplus 3 in this i'll be showing you how to install and what are the changes uh, available in this beta version 19 which is still based on 7.1.1 so guys uh, first download the file from the description below i'll show you the file which i have downloaded i go to storage and this is the file guys which i have downloaded uh, for my oneplus 3 and i'll be using uh, stock recovery to install that uh, because many of the users are uh, not rooted on my channel and they request me to do the same with the official recovery so i have downloaded everything uh, and the file has been placed inside the internal memory so let's boot the device to official recovery right now i'm running hydrogen os uh, which was released few days back i power off the device first and then i'll use this volume down and power key to boot to recovery so i press boot together and when i see the logo i'll release both the buttons So this is the stock recovery i select the language here and in this i'll select this option install from internal memory so once i select this and i have the file which is which is uh, one plus three oxygen underscore 16 ota so i'll select this file and if you guys are on uh, beta version you can download using a vpn app opera vpn app and select the change the region and uh, search for a uh, system update so i have downloaded the complete zip file i'll use the complete zip file using stock recovery i select yes and we'll wait for the process to complete so once the process is complete uh, what i'll do is i'll do a factory reset because i i was using hydrogen os normally we don't face any issue uh, with that but uh, i just do a factory reset because this is not my primary device i'll go to wipe data and wipe everything this will also delete your internal memory so guys make sure you take a backup if you are doing a complete wipe and once this is done we'll reboot the device and we'll take a look what are the things available on this so once the device boots up we'll quickly complete the initial setup and uh, we'll take a look what are the things available so as the initial setup has been completed uh, now first we'll go to settings and check anything uh, new in settings for the device so we go to about and you have an oxygen version uh, open beta version 19 and android version 7.1.1 android security patch is first may 2017 that is still an outdated patch so uh, as per their change logs they have mentioned few things which i'll be telling you now first thing what they say is uh, they have a new oneplus launcher that is 2.1 uh, launcher so we'll just check and you can check the launcher uh, by long pressing the home screen and you go to settings here you can see the launcher version is 2.21 in this launcher uh, they also say it supports uh, dynamic icon for weather and calendar so this is the weather app and uh, they say it supports dynamic icons so whatever the weather outside if it's cloudy you'll get in cloudy uh, icon available here you can see the icon has been changed and same as for the calendar today is the 3rd july and you can see uh, it says 3rd july available over here so the next thing what they say is added home screen layout under launcher setting for grid and icon customization so here in the home screen launcher itself they have added few options so we go to home screen layout here you have an option to change columns and icon size so you can change accordingly uh, whatever your requirement you can keep for um, columns and also change the size of icons and next they say is grid layout will be kept irrespective to, of display size so in this if you have changed any settings from uh, here if you go and change the size a uh, display size that won't be affected that is completely different it won't be affecting uh, your columns or the icons next, they say uh, added search history record in app drawer displaying the five most recent app on the first row so this is the app drawer in this they say uh, they have uh, the five you know, top five apps will be displayed in the first line uh, available here so if you are using few apps regularly those five apps top five apps will be displayed in the first line 
and they, next they say newly added app will now be tagged with a blue dot for easier recognition so whatever the new apps you'll install from play store i'll just show you one app which i'll install now and after that that I'll, app i'll be using for uh, benchmarks also so i'll download geekbench 4 i'll just install it okay the download is pending so once this is downloaded i'll show you if you are installing any new app that, that will be having a blue dot on that application so that it is easy to recognize in, in your app drawer so meanwhile we'll go to the next one uh, they say you can access icon pack resources on the play store directly under the launcher settings so from here itself you can access the uh, icon pack so you have uh, you get an option over here of more if you click this it will take you to play store and you'll get an option to download your icon packs so this is a new thing which they have added next uh, I think that app has been installed so you can see this is the app which I have installed uh, and you get a blue dot available here and uh, this makes easy to recognize the app which you have recently downloaded and uh, in this launcher they also say user interface improvement during widget selection so widget selection they have made few changes so this one is a normal which I have also uh, showed you in uh, hydrogen OS which I installed previously so nothing much next in uh, change logs they have other additions they say added an option to display battery status of connected Bluetooth device I don't have any Bluetooth device I won't be able to show you the demo but the thing is they have added an option to display the battery status of your Bluetooth device next they have added oneplus widget so they have also added a oneplus widget I'll just show you that widget I'm sorry I go to widgets and under this you will find oneplus widget so this widget will have weather and date included in this so and you can also resize this so this is the new thing which they have added after that they say email address recognition within the text message so if your message contains any email address which it will be automatically recognized by your device next they say size of clock widget is now adjustable so clock widget i'll show you here it is not clock widget i'll just remove this first so uh, i remove this and i add a clock widget first so after adding clock widget i'll show you this clock widget can be resized by long pressing on that and you get an option to resize this so you can resize this this thing has been added next is updated system ui of clock so let's check uh, i think yes uh, slight changes have been done in the system ui of clock so these are the new things added in this and next we have an option of optimization under optimization they say smart callback works even better now so this option was previously added in the beta version and show you i'll just search that so callback so this is uh, the smart callback option available here so it says call will be made using the same sim card based on your previous uh, call history so if you guys are if you guys enable this and if you guys are using two two sim cards on your device and uh, you have made the call on specific number with one of this sim card so next time if you are calling uh, the same number it won't give you an option to select the sim card it will automatically take the uh, previous sim card which was used to make the call so this is a nice option in this next is uh, incoming call animations are more dazzle than ever so yes there was a slight change in the incoming um, call UI so that you can check I'll not be showing you in the next they have is oneplus font optimization for language so nothing much in this oneplus uh, font optimization have been done for selected languages and the last one is compatibility optimization for various Bluetooth devices these are the optimization which they have done in this so now what we'll do is I'll just run a quick benchmark test and uh, we'll compare it with the hydrogen OS so uh, now after the benchmark result so you can see uh, this is on oxygen OS beta version and this was on hydrogen OS so you can see the uh, oxygen OS performs better on single core and both uh, multi-core 
for the benchmark if, if you want to use you can go with the oxygen os which is performing little better than uh, hydrogen os so these are the things guys and that's all in this video and if you guys like the video do give me a thumbs up or if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day